first, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, holding an MMA record of one win and zero losses, fighting out of Pariah MMA in Colorado Springs, Colorado, please make welcome, Wood Campbell! And now, fighting out of the Farmers Insurance, Thomas Swenson Blue Corner, also holding an MMA record of one win and zero losses, fighting out of the farm, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Greeley, Colorado, please make welcome, Taylor Lee! This 170 pound MMA bout is scheduled for three, three minute rounds for three, is Stephen Blair. Whit Campbell in the black and red trunks represents Pariah MMA out of Southern Colorado facing off against Taylor Leach in the black and red trunks representing the farm Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu out of Northern Colorado in Greeley. Two outstanding coaching staffs. Let's, let me add that, JR. Coach Danny up at the farm, unbelievable coach. Coach Drew Lawrence down in the springs with Pariah. I mean, what they've both sides, both coaches and both teams have been able to do in the last 18 months has been absolutely staggering. And a couple of just, you can tell, tremendous athletes oh God, yes. under their tutelage right now. And you and I talk about as the weight divisions go up, around the 170-pound mark is where you start thinking one punch can change the entirety of a fight. Whit Campbell looking extremely calm. Wow, I mean, just so focused right now almost like he's peering through Taylor Leach but wow and speaking of that power I think these guys a lot of respect for each other diving in on the singles Leach able to get it but a lot of respect in the the strike seemed probing to me they were yes. working as a feeling out process but boy look at Leach go and attack once he gets it on the ground Leach shot in on a beautiful single leg takedown from far out too, but really was able to maximize it. And now he's looking to take the back of uh, Whit Campbell. But Whit Campbell doing a nice job defensively right now. Yeah, Campbell has an opportunity to turn it here. Well, he lost it there, and that speaks well of what Leach is doing. Leach was able to bring that left hook in, curled his toes behind the hamstring, and that's basically what saved him. And Continuing to try to work for that rear naked choke is Leach. And coming out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school, you know this guy's been putting in his time on the ground. And boy, what a great ride he is showing here, Ron. Outstanding hips. Phenomenal movement up top. The way he's gliding on the gyro, as we call it in wrestling. Outstanding work right there. But at the same time of gliding on the top position, still administering strikes, too. And he might switch off to an armor. No, it was a good job by Campbell trying to turn in. But again, Leach just lets him pivot underneath, stays on top. Really, really nice positional control. As soon as this hit the mat, it's become pretty one-sided in the favor of Leach. Campbell doing a good job with his defense, eating a few punches, mostly keeping himself safe, and obviously wants to keep that uh, arm from going around the neck. Both these guys doing a really nice job, offensively and defensively right now. We're seeing, again, just that reflection of that great coaching that we spoke about earlier. Yeah, and the work with the hooks by Leach Absolutely. in order to control his position. It looks like it's uh -oh. under the chin now, uh -oh. Ron. Yep, that looks tight, but I got to tell you, uh-oh, now it's real tight. And there it is. That's the tap. Wow. Taylor Leach with the rear naked choke finish of Whit Campbell in the first. Fantastic performance. Absolutely, big thank you to the Farm DJ and Jay, all my training partners, all my coaches. 
You don't get the best team in the world when you're losing, so it's Talk to me a little bit about that fight as well. Obviously, you wanted to get it to the ground. You got it to the ground to get the submission down there. Game plan going into this one. Uh, definitely. I want to use a little more strike in this match. I had some decent kicks from the standing. I got it done. Had the take down, turn his back. That was a pretty good ground count. I ended up getting the choke. Now, what's up next for you? 2 0. <laughs> we'll see. No idea. I want to be nice to my family, my girlfriend, the farm BJJ. This party called LA Home Fans. You know, I thank you guys so much. Congratulations on the victory. Give it up once again for your winner, Taylor Lee.